Welcome to the, our engineering center in Aachen, Germany, which is a German headquarter. We mainly develop air conditioning systems, but also powertrain and uh, electronic systems as well. Our engineering work is to push boundaries of product performance and the functions, always looking for improvement. In the development of air conditioning units, also called HVAC for heating, ventilating, air conditioning, we are moving in the field of tension. In the majority, the HVAC unit is located in the vehicle interior, right underneath the dashboard. This space is heavily influenced by the ergonomic requirements, the strength requirements of the vehicle body, and also the interior styling. And the medium air which we are conditioning is accompanying us from the very beginning of the vehicle to the rear end. This starts usually at the bonnet where the opening for the air inlet is located. It goes through the bulkhead into the HVAC unit, distributes by ducts and outlet grills into the cabin and it leaves the uh, vehicle cabin at the rear end. The role of design takes from the, from the first sketch of a concept until the last detail of a product using the CAD system. The daily work is very closely within the design team, as well with testing and simulation in order to confirm new shapes or to get from them new ideas to be transferred into CAD. Also meetings and with suppliers, customer and production plan are required in order to design the product in the right way. In the past, a certain noise level has been accepted, but times have changed so that now silence has become a criterion for comfort. And in the near future, we will even have noiseless electric cars while moving air will always cause noise. So the challenge for our team of acoustic specialists is clear. On the one hand, we need to reduce the noise level as much as possible, but on the other hand, we need to design the noise which is left to be comfortable for the passengers. At the same time, all noise improvements need to have no negative impact on the function of the air conditioner, which perhaps is the biggest challenge. For example, the air needs to be swirled to achieve a homogeneous temperature distribution. But to achieve a no low noise level, this should be carefully avoided. So vehicle air conditioning gives acoustics a wide field for research and development. Within the HVAC development process, my role is uh, the CFD simulation. The CFD simulation will be done to understand the fluid flow inside of the HVAC unit before we have actually um, prototypes available in testing. Within the HVAC development process, we um, have down here our simulation results for the test bench. The testing engineer can use those results to improve the performance of the HVAC. So these results give the test engineer an idea how the flow goes to the HVAC and where to improve the geometry in terms of the right temperature distribution and velocity distribution. During the last few years, air conditioning became a standard equipment of all our cars. This led to the fact that we do not recognize anymore the importance of uh, heating or cooling the passenger compartment. But even in mild climatic uh, zones like Central Europe, it's almost impossible to drive a car safely and comfortable all over the year. In winter, for example, by turning off the heater, the cabin temperature would drop significantly, whereas in summer, uh, with our flat aerodynamic windows, the sun load is heating up the cabin uh, significantly and that is creating a huge uh, physical burden with discomfort and even uh, safety risks. Over here, we have our bench set up with the HVAC below this ducting, which is an actual vehicle ducting. We have equipped to each outlet thermocouples to measure the temperatures at the outlet. So we can simulate some different vehicle conditions here. The blower is a central part of the HVAC. It is responsible for driving the air from the environment through the filter, the evaporator and the heater into the interior of the car. Unfortunately, this comes along 
with some energy consumption of the blower and noise emissions. To optimize the blower, make it very silent and efficient, we have to deal a lot with aerodynamics, acoustics, electronics, but also rotor dynamics. In D&D, we use simulations to optimize our parts. On the other hand, we have a strong philosophy to go on site and put your hands on to not only discuss the topics in the meeting room by theory, but uh, get a real feeling what happens with your products. After the CFD simulation and the test at the test component bench, the HVAC is installed into the vehicle. The vehicle then is tested here in this chamber according to our specification which we receive from the customer. The special feature of this chamber is that it's controllable from minus 20 to plus 50 degrees and vehicle speeds up to 200 km per hour are possible. To judge the thermal comfort inside the vehicle cabin, sensors measuring pressures, temperatures and air speed are installed in the cabin and inside the engine compartment. Then these signals are sent to the PC here, are stored and are visible during the test. To better meet individual comfort requirements, modern air conditioning units provide a wide variety of functions and settings. So we develop today air conditioning units with up to 4 plus 2 temperature zones. In such systems, the front passengers can not only choose their individual temperature between left and right, they can also select the temperature stratification between the foot space and the head space. Doing that, Benzo can look back to a long-term knowledge of more than 55 years, as it was Denso who developed the first air conditioner for passenger cars back in 1957.